Hi, how's it going? My name is April and this week I'm going to show you my process of making a patchwork denim jacket. This is easily one of my favorite creations yet and was super fun to make, so I hope you try it out and let's get started. Here are some photos of jackets I saw online that inspired me. I like the one with white patches, but I also want mine to look more shredded up and edgy like the other jackets. I purchased some old jeans in different shades from the thrift store and also used some I had at home. Also, I thrifted this button-down denim shirt to use as the base and to incorporate it into the patchwork. First, I took apart the shirt along the side seams and underarms and started cutting out random rectangle and square pieces from all of my jeans. Only cut some to get started and leave the rest to cut later. It's also best to keep the pieces on the larger side because you can always reshape them. I thought it'd be easier to visually see all the pieces by throwing the shirt on my dress form and playing around with where I want the patches to go. It was a good start to give me ideas, but in the end, I changed some of the design along the way. This is what my pieces look like pinned on after taking it off my dress form. As you can see, it's very messy right now and I'll have to unpin and rearrange each piece nicely. Before doing so, I seam ripped the rest of the shirt apart so that I can work on each section individually. I really like the layout of the sleeve design already, so I'm just unpinning the pieces and finalizing the shape of each patch. Some pieces I will sew right side together first for a clean look, and other pieces I will leave the edges raw so it frays. It's really all up to you and how you want your jacket to look like, which is why this project was so fun for me because there's no right or wrong way to do it. After organizing which pieces get sewn to what, I first sew together the pieces that are layered underneath. <laughs> Next, I flatten each piece out and pin it to the edges of the sleeve so I can flip it over and trim the excess fabric away. Once I cut the shape of the sleeve out, I went ahead and trimmed the sleeve base away in any areas that it's not needed because I don't want the jacket to be so heavy and thick. And lastly, we'll sew the layers on top, which will be top stitched on. When sewing a raw edge like this, I lower my stitch length just a little so that it can be tighter and more secure to prevent the piece from unraveling and falling off. The wider your seam allowance for the top stitching, the more frayed your jacket will look. I sewed mine at a quarter inch to a half inch. Yay, we have one sleeve down and one more to go. I'm gonna move forward and demonstrate the front of the jacket now. So here's what my second sleeve ended up looking like. This was my first design on the right side of the jacket. The longest part is figuring out how you want the patchwork to look like. After rearranging all the pieces around, I found it was easier if I worked on both front pieces at the same time, that way I can see it as a whole. Pin the patchwork onto the shirt, trim the excess fabric away, and then I top stitch the rest down. Again, to keep the jacket from being too thick and heavy, I removed the layer underneath that's not attached to anything. Make sure you're not cutting too close to the seam line. Now we can sew the top layer of patches. I'm adding a pop of white at the side and sewing the original pocket back on.
And here is the finished front side of the jacket. Lastly, the back side. This was the most challenging to figure out because it was such a big area to work with. Again, it was the most helpful to see all the pieces laid out, so I worked on the ground. That way, I can view it from a distance as well. For those who are always curious to know what I'm watching, right now I'm watching Legend of Korra. Repeat the sewing process. Again, I'm removing any bulk so the jacket won't be so heavy. I also just left the edges raw inside, which I'm okay with since the rest of the jacket is messy. But if you're concerned, you can cut the edges with pinking shears or use some freight check. I'm gonna have to see how well it holds up after a wash, but I also think it'll be best to only spot clean a jacket like this. Finally, we can assemble the jacket, which is the easiest and fastest part. First, sew the front and back pieces together at the shoulder seams. Next, pin the sleeves to the armhole and sew them together. The only seam left to sew is the underarm and side seams, which will be sewn all at once. The very last thing is the neckline. I was deciding on collar or no collar and went with no collar for a raw edge look. I trimmed the seam allowance that the collar would have been attached to and then sewed a tight stitch along the neckline to stop the fraying. And I'm finished! Here is my final patchwork jacket. So much for watching this is such a cool way to recycle old jeans or any scrap fabric so i hope you try it out and as usual don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye